sights and the sounds of the Dinosphere. I am here joined with Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Dr. Phil Manning. Guys, I'm excited for this tour. <laughs> I'm a little excited for this tour. Um, when you think of what we're looking at right now, this is the beginning. Uh, what comes to mind for you? I think of the prehistoric past. I mean, it's when you walk down and walk down to see the dinosaurs, you can't help but imagine these monsters coming to life. Oh, yeah, I love what she says, monsters coming to life. I love that. Dr. Phil Bedding, when you see uh, what's, what's before you right now and, and think about you guys having a, a critical role in this, uh, what means the most to you about it? Well, this is a story that was 150 million years in the making. And the team that's been brought together to deliver this incredible exhibit are from all over the world, but its core is here in Indianapolis. Yeah. So it's really amazing that we can be part of what is a children's museum-led project that has is, is affected lives all over the world already. Wow. Wow. What makes you so passionate about this? I mean, you can hear it in your voice, uh, the, the feeling that you have about uh, paleontology. What, what, what makes you so passionate about it? It's strange. When I was a child, I picked up my first fossil when I was about seven years old, and it was that wonder of what is this, asking that question. And I keep asking that question today. In fact, one day I'm going to grow up and work out that I'm doing a real job. <laughs> but at the moment, this one's working out okay. But I absolutely love what I do because unpicking the history of life on Earth, what else is there anything? better to do come on wow wow uh dr victoria what, what excites you about about your role in this and, and paleontology for you i think it's telling the story of the prehistoric past these animals the plants trying to understand what the world was like 150 million years ago it was completely different than today wow. so bringing that to life has been really important to me yeah well uh what are the, the new attractions uh, that, that people can look forward to this year as opposed to years past? Well, we have two amazing new long neck dinosaurs. Oh, these guys. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are called sauropod dinosaurs. You can see the real bones on display. Wow. Yes, those are real bones, Whoa. Uh, which are very heavy, I will say, yeah. because we have had to kind of lift them out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it comes to the heavy lifting, Dr. Phil, man, did, which, which part did you pick up? Was it, was it this part, the, the, the longest of the neck, what, what part was, was you picking we, it up? We, well, we actually started with some of the legs of these guys. Yeah. We start with some of the biggest bones, but when you get to the pelvis, then you're into the land of giant bottoms. Yeah. So it, <laughs> that, that gets really quite heavy. But, oh, but, but for me, it's piecing all these things together. This is the ultimate detective story that we can see the end point now. You're holding a bone in the field saying, do you know what it is yet? Yeah. Well, you do now. And the dinosaur in the room, well, there's two here. They're enormous. You've got to come to the Children's Museum to see them. Wow, wow. Uh, for those who are, are thinking that, man, I love dinosaurs, uh, what do you feel like says, you know what, this is the part you got to see? Yeah, this is absolutely what you have to see because you cannot help but be impressed by the sheer size of them. Yeah. And it... Even if you're not a child, it will bring back that inner child that you still have. Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I still definitely have the inner child. And uh, what's this? The, 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 saur the sauropod? Is that it? It, it is sauropod. It does when you first hear it. Sounds like you could go to the doctor, get a cream, it'll clear up in a week. You've got sauropods. <laughs> but it, it actually is a dinosaur. And it's a group of dinosaurs. And they're the biggest dinosaurs ever to have walked on the planet. They're the real titans of the Jurassic. Oh, and wow. here you've got two animals, which I think are beautiful exemplars for this type of animal, this oh dinosaur. Oh my gosh, well guys, uh, we're, we're going to keep going because uh, I'm, I'm getting my free tour on. So, so I'm going to keep walking with Dr. Victoria and Dr. Phil.